I'm demonstrating cut work on a bucket hat, which really involves three techniques. Cut work, of course, and less obviously reverse hooping and over the hoop technique. Let's get started. Find the center of the hat by folding it in quarters. Mark the center point with removable ink. Check the center mark against the embroidery you plan to do. It's easiest to do this if you have a milliner's head, a friend, or a stuffed animal to wear the hat for you. The design I'm using, Hearts Cutwork by Stitch Ties, has a visual center that's a bit lower than the actual center, so I'll mark the embroidery start point a bit lower on the hat. I find that placement more attractive for this design. Mark the final placement darkly with removable ink. To avoid any confusion, I'll erase the previously marked center point. Turn the hat over and darken the mark on the inside. Hooping a pre-constructed hat presents some challenges. The shape of the hat lays more naturally over the hoop in the upside down position, so you can hoop it upside down. Press a piece of adhesive stabilizer, such as Filmoplast, into the crown of the hat. This helps the hooping to come out smooth. First, set down the part of the hoop that ordinarily goes on the top. Now place the hat right side down over the hoop. Adjust the placement until the mark is in an acceptable position. Place stabilizer over the hoop area and press the bottom hoop piece down. Now you can take your hoop tat to your embroidery machine. The cutwork design first stitches the outline mark. Remove the hoop from the machine. You may want to erase the temporary placement dot now. Next, trace the stitched line with fray check, which will keep the cut edges from unraveling. Allow the fray check a few minutes to dry. With the addition of the glue, portions of the erased dot may reappear, but they can be removed later. Then with applique scissors or a small embroidery scissors, cut within a millimeter of the stitched line. Now attach a heavy water-soluble stabilizer to the top and bottom of the hooped area covering the cutwork. Return the embroidery to the machine and continue stitching. A satin stitched border goes over the edge of the cutwork. The design has three more cutwork heart areas which are outlined next. Repeat the cutwork process for them. Trace the outlines with fray check, cut inside the lines, stabilize the holes, and finish the stitching. You can also apply cutwork embroidery to the brim of the hat. Mark the embroidery placement before you begin. The hat brim is much thicker than most things you embroider, so unless you have a strong hoop with a long adjustment screw, I suggest using an over the hoop technique. To go over the hoop with a brim, hoop an adhesive stabilizer and score it within the hoop. Peel the paper layer away and press the hat brim onto the adhesive. Notice that I'm hooping the brim with the top of the hat facing me. This makes the hat easier to put on the embroidery machine. Because I hoop the hat this way, I'll rotate the embroidery design 180 degrees so that the finished embroidery will be right side up. I'm using heart-shaped cutwork by Stitch Ties on the brim to complement the heart design on the crown of the hat. As with the other cutwork design, stitch the cut line and then remove the hat from the machine to do the cutwork. Place a piece of water-soluble stabilizer over the cut area on both the underside and top side of the brim and continue stitching. This cutwork design creates a grid of thread in the cutout area. To remove the water-soluble stabilizer from cutwork, I recommend you cut away the larger pieces and wash the remainder away with water. The finished cutwork is a cute, clear-cut improvement for your hats. 